Hi Aquarius, so I'm doing my skincare routine right now, but I did want to go ahead and do a reading for y'all real quick. So this is going to be a different way of how I do this reading, but um, yeah, we're going to see how it come out because this was something different, okay? Uh, like this video, comment down below, subscribe. You probably know what the title is, but you know, I don't. I'm just pulling to see what is here for you guys. Okay, let me put my phone on the charger right here. Out the way. Also, like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and also we are having a 40% uh, can't even talk, 40 off sale, okay, the cover promo code is down below, alright, um, yeah, also if you want to check out the website, book a personal reading, I do have those open Monday through Saturday from 12 to 5, and then you'll get your reading by the end of the day, they are same day, the most suitable readings to pick from, but yeah, just go ahead and check that out, um, my Instagram and all that stuff in the second channel is definitely down below, we do weekly readings for all the sign elements so let's get into this i know that was a lot and let's go so okay aquarius i'm gonna go ahead and start here with the divination of the ancients deck if you are or have been with me for a long time you know what this deck is you know what it's about but we're going to go ahead and pull one card out of here for the aquarius collective what's the message for today so we have the dancing rods okay this talks about you know what you are seeking you are very very close do not give up on either what you're doing this can't be regarding your path or whatever it is um dancing rods um i don't know if you guys uh are seeing i don't know if y'all be seeing people on live and they be having a little like metal rods and they be doing this somebody you know you may want to get into that you've been thinking about that this could be your confirmation to go ahead and try that out um but yeah this is another form of divination as well it's called water witching as well it's very popular you can definitely look that up but aquarius okay so you know you are the water bearer that's very funny but it says dancing rods what you are looking for you about to seek or you about to find okay i'm getting you have been looking in all the wrong places or it's about to be you know appearing towards you or be um revealed however i will read make sure i'm getting all the information um off the card that you guys need to know because i want to make sure i have it all okay so it says dancing rods the dancing rods have sought you out to announce that your search is almost over you guys spent a long time looking in the wrong places now is the moment to you know sense through your heart and use natural elements as your guide so you could be getting out in nature a lot here or you may feel you know more pulled um or drawn to like plants or different things like you know earth elements water elements fire you know but are more primordial or primal elements not just the ones that are controlled or you know modernized okay but it says see can you will find do not give up you're almost there time to step into your destiny a lost person item situation or something will be found you find the information you have been looking for reconciliation reunion brings you great joy okay so i hope i didn't read that too fast for you guys but that's what basically what that was about okay once again we have the dancing rod here i'm gonna pull each reading here we're gonna get a crystal card um let's get a crystal card here y'all i have like a million and one decks so i can show y'all my table you will be like what the fuck okay um and it's so funny i didn't pull a card but we have the diamond card this is your solar plexus chakra it says you need to value your self-worth or you have been valuing your self-worth you know you know who you are and you're adding a text okay you are god's precious gem or the most highest worth seen's precious gem it's time for you to act like it okay so i also am going to pull a health and wellness card here and see what comes out so we have peaches for positivity or we have these three that came out the, the three p's okay so we have expansion so we're about to go to some type of expansion or discovery okay you're, it's giving page of wands energy you are obsessed or i'm getting you know you have set your heart or your mind or something or somebody or situation or an outcome you're about to um get that okay you know one thing about diamonds pressure burst price but it does not talk about diamonds that are made in the process okay that's one of my favorite favorite um favorite sayings i learned it from somebody um yeah but yeah we have peaches so it says positivity it's important you definitely keep a positive out um outlook or energies or people around you all right and i'm getting you are supported here so if you didn't feel like you didn't have any support um, around you physically or are supported spiritually as well or you are a great support to yourself okay um anyways so now we're going to go ahead and get four cards out of this here okay the first card is I hate when we argue. So there's somebody here, for some of you guys, either you hate when you argue with your spiritual team. I know I do that from time to time. Or you can hate when you argue with somebody here. Okay, you either are going to be reconciling a reunion or having a reunion with this person. Okay, because it says this could be like somebody's baby mother or baby father here. All right, they could definitely hate when you guys argue. Or it could be somebody here who wants to make you their baby mother or their baby father. Okay, I feel like your willpower either is too much for them or I'm getting you are very feisty. I'm hearing don't push me. I am coming. 
close to the edge. So either you're close to the edge or um, I'm getting like you'll push him push him off like all the way to the edge, Aquarius man or female. Okay. But yeah, whoever this person is, I'm hearing and here we go, knock, knock. Okay, they're about to either be knocking at your door, messaging you, sending some form of communication, whether it be physically like pulling up to your house or you know, pulling up to your job or wherever the fuck you are at here, okay? Yeah, this is what's going on. I feel like this person views you as a diamond here, even though you guys could definitely um argue a lot, okay? It gives me the energy of Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, because remember, um, I'm hearing that song shine bright like a diamond. Like you either shine bright or you're very bright energetically. Or you can even be bright or light skinned, okay? But yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like, you know, they hate when you guys argue. I don't know what you guys argued about, but let's get some chakra cards here. The first card out, we have I am a mentor, not a rescuer. So sacral chakra. Either y'all have y'all be having real good sex or the color orange is impaired. You guys could somebody could be having self-esteem issues or self-confidence issues or um Issues regarding their lust or, you know, their sacral chakra. This is like your, you know, sexual area. Okay, but it says, I am a mentor, not a rescuer. I take responsibility for my own happiness. So they could try to, you could have told this person to take responsibility for their own happiness or go do what they want to do or make them happy. And, you know, you did it the same or vice versa. But it says, I avoid continually sacrificing my own happiness for others by rescuing and enabling them as doing this may hinder the personal growth for both of us. I choose not to be a martyr. I am a mentor, not a rescuer. I do not assume that everyone wants my opinions and solutions to their life challenges. If so, or if I'm in doubt, I will ask them. Okay, I'm getting motor mouth. Somebody could have called somebody motor mouth here. Okay, um, but yeah, let's get some tarot on this. So, like I said, second shock, shock, uh, second sacral chakra, the color orange. You can definitely alleviate this with um, red jasper, um, carnelian, um, orange calcite. Okay, these are great stones for the sacral. And also the ones that I use, excuse me. Um, but yeah, whoever this is, collective, I know I look crazy as hell right now, but I really don't care. You know, you're going to get the message regardless. Um, but yeah, this person here, you're going to be reconciling a reunion with this person. I feel like either um, they got the information that they needed or you got the information that you needed to um, figure out what made you happy. Yeah. I don't know why I keep hearing this song, Isn't She Lovely? Like, I don't know why. You know that song? Isn't she lovely? Like, you know that older song? Pineapple is also great for the solar plexus. So the solar plexus and the sacral chakras are the chakras of significance here. Especially with the willpower. This actually goes with that. Okay. Um, but yeah, this person is going to be re reuniting with this, with you. Or you're going to be reuniting with them. Or this is what they're trying to do. Or they want to work towards. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get some what's uh, the news. What's brewing up with the situation cards. Yeah, I just feel like whoever this person is, they could have been a hoe. I hope she don't think that I think that she's some kind of hoe. I don't care. That just let me know that she knows what she wants. Yeah. Had me at hello, my name is. You could have this person like this either. Like I said, this is either this is your baby father, your baby mother, okay, or this is somebody here who, you know, they wanna take things a little bit more serious, okay, with you. But they hate when you guys argue. Like, I don't know if it hurts them or whatever it is. We're going to get into that. Let's see if we can get some cards out of here. Like I said, your luck is about to change. So whatever luck regarding the situation or whatever lucky um, reuniting of this situation or redo, this is exactly what's coming into fruition for somebody here. This person is obsessed with you. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. Yeah, this person here, like I said at the bottom of the day, they know how to make you happy, but they know how to make you frown as well, too. They could have definitely been dealing with some kind of karmic ties here or in a karmic energy, okay? Yeah, but I feel like they either in, in, they either incurred their karma or, you know, um, they got the warning or they got the memo here, okay? Um, yeah, whoever this person is, they could have made a bad deal, did something that, you know, how do you say was not making you happy or something that actually was compromising your happiness or, you know, um, you mentoring them or you, or whatever you said or told them here and, you know, it ended up being a setup or they end up getting set up. They thought they knew better until, you know, they end up getting set up. But like I said, this person could have PTSD or this situation could have caused you PTSD or, um, whatever they did, they broke a promise here. Okay. They broke a promise. I promise, 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 promise. I need you. Yeah. You're the only one. Yeah, you're the only one I want in my life. Like I said, this person, they on the way back, boo. 
don't know if this could have been a couple of days, this could have been a couple of hours, a couple of years, a couple of months, whatever it is, they're finna circle the block, spin the block, come on back around. You know, we are in certain retrograde. So people are especially getting their karma extremely hard or, you know, getting hips out the head or their head knocked between the washer and the dryer if they do, um, you know, do an Aquarius or Capricorn placement wrong or if you have these in your chart, you could be either self-inflicting karma, you know, getting yours or, you know, dishing it out. But yeah, whoever this person is, they hate when you guys argue. I just feel like when you guys argue here, King of Pentacles, this could be um, regarding money, okay? Or they feel either like they're being stripped of power or one of you guys either feel stripped of power. You guys could be arguing about money, finances, homes, you know, things that are tangible or of certain value. But I feel like when you guys argue, this person feels like their ego is bruised here. Yeah, with the five of swords, they feel like, you know, whenever they argue, um, either you run off to go tell somebody or they run off to go tell somebody or to blow off steam with somebody here okay either they do this you do this or like i said um it's a lot of it's giving third parties or somebody indulges with the material world or uh you know material pleasures or um blinders to um alleviate whatever you guys were arguing about here or you know to th throw it into the bridge or blow off steam or garden the situation okay and then it's like when they do this or whenever it was done either you do it or they do it i'm here collective um, yeah, with the strength card and the five of pentacles, you guys end up both in the, <laughs> out in the cold. Um, but either you guys don't tell each other or like, you know, either one of you guys don't tell each other or you guys both either do your dirt. Either you guys both do your dirt and you guys don't tell you what you've been or what you said about the other person. Or, you know, when you guys do come back together, you guys both realize how foolish, stupid and out in the cold or worried or, you know, how bad you guys were looking or what you did or, you know, the damage that has been done concerning the situation. And with the shrimp card, this person could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. This person could be a Leo. We have a lot of Earth Sun energy um, here specifically. Um, but, yeah, like you guys realize how much damage is done here, okay? And then, like, either you guys both have your ego trips or your power trips, like that song by uh, J. Cole. Got me up all night. All I'm singing this love song. She got me up all night. Or he got me up. It's called Power Trip by J. Cole. J. Cole is an Aquarius. Um, that's what normally happens here. And then somehow, some way, you guys, you know, go from the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Or you guys are great once again. But like I said, whoever this baby mother or baby father is, um, it's going to be you or them. Flip it how you need to. It's going to be your story. It's going to be their story. Whoever it is, you could be a cross watcher as well. Um, it's for all Aquarius places. But like I said, King of Wands. You may feel like this person is a hoe. Or, you know, they think that you're going to bow down to them. Or you always got to listen to what they're saying here. Because either you're the one giving um, unwanted um, advice or trying to tell this person what to do. Or, you know, you're sacrificing your happiness for theirs. Or, you know, trying to do shit as a team when in reality um, you do certain shit and you hold back both you guys' personal growth. Like pulling teeth I'm hearing here. Somebody's actually missing their side tooth. Okay. Um, yeah, really random, I know. But with the Eight of Pentacles, like I said, um, you, one of you guys want to work with each other. You can work, want to work with this person. They or you. But it's just like somehow, some way, it's normally either a competition or, you know, somebody always ends up doing more of the work. Okay. Yeah, with the star card, somehow somebody expects for this to be rejuvenated or restarted or a new chance here. Yeah, I just feel like somebody would like to sit back while somebody else does the work. Aquarius, this could definitely be you doing the work here. This person likes to sit back and watch you do the work. And this King of Wands could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius to have it in their chart. They're very motherfucking pushy. They're very wordy here. They think that, you know, they run shit, okay? Or, you know, they're very feisty and stuck in their own stubbornness, okay? And they want you to just, how do you say, watch you. Why? star card like i said the star rock you rejuvenate make shit better put in the work to you know alleviate stresses or do whatever it is to make shit work or make ends meet or make you know finances come or you know uh emotions stable again okay aquarius but yeah whoever this is the two of cups they do care for you i'm getting you trust this person to some degree they trust you to a certain degree you know you guys do doubt each other but you guys you know try not to but i feel like this could be regarding the situation this relationship or two of cups here okay for this co-parenting thing even if you guys aren't together right mm -mm -mm. let's get one last card for the situation at hand like this video comment down below if it does resonate don't forget to check out the second channel for all the signs air fire water and earth Yeah. 
I know it's taking me a little minute to get the card today. Something that they don't want to say or something that's hidden here. Yeah, I feel like the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, it's going to take a type of time or I'm getting to take the cups. person may be coming in with gifts or to show you their appreciation or, you know, coming in with positivity, gifts, or trying to, you know, have a peace offering here, Knight of Pentacles. But it could have either took them a lot of time. Either they took their time doing this here or, you know, um, they may start off with trying to visit you or show their face or beat around the bush here. Yeah. Or, you know, try to appeal to the kids or the children first okay or you know whatever children they want you to have or you know your inner child but like i said king of swords there's two kings here two kings in the castle this stuff don't mix either this could be a third party here somebody has involved okay who's trying to figure out like is this really going to be a good plan here is this really what you, what you want it to happen or this person could be involved here because i feel like you know when shit is good, this person sit back from a, from a distance here and see how things are going to go or watch this uphill battle. But, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles, either they have their own wish, their own two cents, or, you know, there's enough manifestation here that they want the situation to be. This person's the King of Swords. They could be an air sign, a Quirks, a Gemini. This could be like a father, a mother, or somehow somebody here who somebody talks with a lot or gets advice from. But I feel like the Tower card, whenever there is a Tower moment, this person also says walk away or be sneaky. So there's somebody here who's two-faced or they play both sides. <laughs> oh, but like I said, willpower. This person, um, why do we have willpower here? Okay. Yeah, I feel like we have willpower because Queen of Cups, this could be a feminine energy here if you are the baby mother, okay, or, you know, the female they wants to have a baby with, whatever it is. But like I said, this person here, they admire your willpower. They feel like just emotionally as you are with the Magician card and the Nine of Pentacles, you can make anything happen. Or you know how they say a house is not a home without a female because, you know, we make it a home. Yeah, I just feel like the Nine of Pentacles is somebody here who, you know, your willpower in their, um, helps their peace of mind or, you know, calms them or gives them peace of mind. Or I feel like you come with a lot already yourself or you have a lot going for yourself. So you really don't really need them, but you could be manifesting this person or they're manifesting you because you're bringing them peace of mind because you're very solid, you're independent. Okay, or they, they don't have to watch you. Yeah. The Hierophant card. Also, the ancestors or somebody could be a Taurus. The ancestors are definitely coming in right now, okay? And they're saying with the Knight of Taurus, they're pushing this person to come and talk to you because either they're looking like this, sad and lonely. Yeah, with the Hermit card, they're going through an awakening. They're getting some type of understanding. That's what they were doing here. Okay, yeah, they were having some type of anxiety or sleepless nights or crying or, you know, emotional withdrawals here. But like I said, knock, 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 okay, with the World card. Here they come. I'm hearing that song, come on, knock on my door, I've been waiting for you. It's like a really old song, but yeah, Three of Wands. The person's definitely going to make some moves towards you. They're definitely um trying to make a major move right here. I don't know if y'all know what song that is, and it's called You by Lloyd. And in the beginning, Lil Wayne says, yeah, that's a major move right here. Like, they're going to make a major move here. Ace of Swords to bring you clarity or truth or, you know, to I'm um, getting cut out, cut out their bullshit or cut shit out here. Yeah, but with the moon card, um, they may come and tell you or get declared on why they were acting the way they were, their emotional ups and downs, or, you know, what they've been up to. Because I feel like they want a victory, or they want, you know, this to end greatly, or they want to be victory, or they want to be on top situation. This could also be somebody, like I said, who's a Leo. We got Aquarius here. We got we got every sign here. We got King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We got a lot of Earth in the first one. We got Scorpio here twice. We got Pisces and Cancer here twice. Scorpio three times actually. Star card, Aquarius. We got the King of Wands, Taurus, Libra, Aries, Hermit, Virgo. All right, but yeah, Six of Wands. Like I said, it's somebody here who they want to win. They want to be a winner. I'm getting like they rather win instead of you know being looking sad as fuck, having to sit at the bar. I'm getting too complete that game, but they're finally giving in. Okay, Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, or you know to make shit right. I'm hearing somebody say, I could have been an ass, or I was an ass, or asshole, or yeah, I am an asshole from time to time. Like, somebody could be actually saying that, or you call this person an asshole here. All right, collective. But I'm going to pull uh, two more cards here. Let's see what this is. Vent, cry, let it out. So, like I said, they may want to vent to you or cry to you and let it out. Or they could be doing this with that third party. Or, like I said, not the worst energy. This is what the fuck they're doing here, okay? Like, either you're doing this, they doing this, or whatever. Okay, let's get one last card. 
it's connected. So everything is connected or you guys could be connected emotionally. So when they cry, you feel it. When you cry, they feel it. Or, you know, like I said, it's connected. Like this whole situation is connected or somebody, something that you thought was connected. This could be a person, a place or a whereabout or, you know, some type of hunch you had. That shit is connected some type of way here. All right, collective, but y'all, this person coming to be emotionally mature. They're making plans. They're trying to figure out what the fuck they should actually be doing here. And it's funny because it's like, okay, for real? Or is you for fake? Or is you for real? Or you just for fake, okay? Yeah, let's get some cards here. Let's get two what's the news cards here situation. Thank you, spirit. Like, this somebody here, like I said, either they got a lot of holes in their dick, you got a lot of holes in your dick, or y'all both too fine-ass motherfuckers, too looking, too good-looking-ass motherfuckers here. And like I said, this is going to be an unexpected love offer, okay? Or unexpected, you know, coming around because they did they whatever fuck, fuck they want to do. Like that song, um, Throw Away by Future, go on for that nigga, get it over with. And it has like a switch up, like this person switching up, okay? At the bottom of the deck here, like I said, hot drama. This shit finna hit the fucking fan like some flying grease, baby. But yeah, they've been dodging you here, but they finna, you know, come back around like a boomerang, period. Because they've been depressed and keeping it to themselves. Either this is you or this is them, okay? But, you know, they're still holding on to you here, period. They could have been acting fake, you know, because they were going third party. Or they could have been acting fake because, you know, they wanted to win the argument or agreement, whatever it is. But they love attention. They really hide and they pain behind the shades. Or this could be you or, you know, half the story. Flip it how you need to. This was the reading here, y'all. I didn't want to make this too long. But um, like this video, comment down below and subscribe. This is somebody's reading. I don't know whose it is, but it's somebody's. It ain't mine. Because I ain't got no kids. Um, I don't got no patience for no kids. Um, but, yeah, this was the reading. I will definitely see y'all later.